What's going on my crew? This is Rusty and welcome to another episode of Rusty Builds. In today's episode, I am illegally taking turtle eggs. Look at me. Um, <laughs> uh, I was looking at these and seeing someone using them for decoration uh, as like lamp posts. Uh, so I wanted to see about possibly doing that. Um, but in today's episode, we are going to be building a blacksmith house. And I came out here because I wanted to grab some acacia trees. Uh, and more importantly, uh, I wanted to test out a few things um, with these acacia trees. Because I want to use the gray portion of the acacia tree, not the orange. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of experimenting today. Um, so I need to get to my boat that I think is all the way over here. Uh, head back to the uh, mainland, well, the island, I guess, because this is really an island. Uh, and then, in the meantime, uh, let's go into creative and talk about today's palette. Alright, so you guys will have to forgive uh, how close these two are, but this is kind of the uh, look that I wanted to go with. Uh, I'm, I think I'm over detailing a little bit too much here um, but overall I wanted to basically use some nether brick a little bit of it scattered throughout here um, but we're gonna go with a deep sleep bottom and then I was looking at a picture and noticing that the blacksmith basically had this gray wood uh, around it hold up sorry guys I'm thinking about something what if I did something like this? Oh, that might be cool. I want to talk generally about an issue that I'm realizing that I'm running into. Um, with these particular builds that I've been doing, there's one consistent thing that's going on with this particular uh, palette set. Uh, and that is... We are consistently doing the same style of build. Now this is going to be okay because it's it's the city that we're working in. But I want to be careful with other builds that we do. We need to stop doing the oak logs on the corner um, with like every single build. So this is just something that I got stuck in doing or have been stuck in doing. Uh, if we look over here... Um, this is just something that I tend to do with my builds is use these corner pieces uh, consistently. And one thing that I was noticing with a lot of um, more recent Minecraft builds is a lot of people are not using those corners. Um, they're leaving the corners completely gone and just building the house flat-ish. All right, you guys, we are back, and I'm just laying down a couple little bits of structure here uh, to the build. Uh, one thing to note is that we are, once again, going to do a couple interesting things. Uh, for this, we're going to actually build um, something similar to what we have over this way. Uh, but we're not going to use these poles down, so it's going to sit out a little bit and we're gonna have it hanging off kind of like we do there but with a little bit more support um, and then there's gonna be another third story that's gonna be hanging out a little bit more from there uh, so that's kind of um, a bit of what we would I would call a Lynchy Inc style uh, he was a uh, youtuber slash builder that commun um, contributed quite a bit to the uh, community and wanted to touch base with you guys I went into the nether and got a 64 nether bricks and walked away with a skeleton skull Ooh, look at the eyes why is it doing that Ooh. um okay so I wanted to show you guys what I did uh, off camera between now and the last time we talked um, yeah put down a little bit more street and as you guys can see, why am I hearing? Oh, this is why 
you should always um bury your streets or at least light them the little bits up you got a little tiny space here where apparently something can form uh let's take a little bit of basalt because i've got a lot of that and we'll just cover this area up here there we go okay so let's take a look here uh first of all before we get into the build i you're probably not going to notice much of a difference out here other than the fact that i, I cut these down but um we've got a lot more land sort of filled in uh and um there's going to be some up and down gradients here in there like with this we're going to carry this out uh from here around we're going to bring this up another one but specifically i wanted to come out and show you guys this little bit here so i don't see these roofs very often and when i saw this roof in this inspirational uh bit i was like yeah that's that's something i want to go for so yeah uh things are going pretty good uh i need to re sort of shape some of the stuff uh and i think i need to grow a few more acacia trees but basically the way this is going to work is we're going to have uh, this be the floor level up there. And we'll have another spot here. So now this will come out by three up here. So let's put some tiled stairs down here. And, and yes, I want it to be like this far down. Um, and I think I will, unlike the inspiration picture, the inspiration picture is just an A-frame. Uh, but I think what I'm actually going to do is uh, a roof that goes up like that. Just because I think it looks uh, a little bit more medieval. Uh, but this will allow... Oh, wait. We got to go back even one further to stay consistent back here. <sighs> okay. Okay, cool. So I think the roof's concept is done. And now I want to take a look and see how it looks. Uh, we didn't add in this side here. This is definitely a very interesting feel. Uh, we we still need to carry this eaves out. If we're going to do this, we need to carry the eaves out by one more. But I think if we drop this and almost... I really like, though, how it goes all the way down. I suppose we can do something a little less... Um, Mm, I don't know. I kind of feel like we do need to take it out like one more. All right. Uh, now let's take a look at this. I think this is going to look a lot better. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So we've got this gray-ish tone here. Um, we need to obviously bump out that wall there. But this really hangs out. Uh, and then it has that that look there. So let's look at it from a very different angle uh because sometimes when we look at it you know close up like this it can in some cases look better in some cases look worse so it's really helpful and i'm just noticing actually uh the picture that i'm using is giving me an idea this is why we use inspiration by the way uh that we should really keep that wall sunken in on that second part loving that roof actually really really cool uh and maybe like in the future future builds that we have where there's a lot of stuff maybe we don't go with such a different like build style for every single one of them but ooh, you know what i'm just realizing no this is okay this is exactly what i'm wanting so this roof is gonna run right into here but that's what we want because we're gonna have a huge chimney coming up here um that he uses to to stoke his fire all right so i think i like that and then we just need to carry this over by one that actually helps right here this helps bring this kind of forward i don't i still don't love this going on right here but at the same time i think that this oh it's an invisible spider uh i think that this like gives it some really interest really cool interest so um, 
with this, right, it's going to actually go up to here, right? But then we're also going to have some timber pretty low. But, uh, yeah, there's lots of detail work that needs to be done, which, by the way, um, the I was thinking the things that I don't get done uh, on this series throughout the week, I figured we can go in and we can do that stuff on live stream. Look at this, guys. I am super excited. Uh, first of all, Spencer City is looking fine. And uh, if you guys think about it, this is just about as many buildings as we've had before. But look at the difference between having these actual buildings versus these kind of stock, like, just thrown together couple buildings. Uh, so blacksmith is done as far as the exterior undetailed work uh, So I wanted to take a look from Cow Mountain because it was kind of difficult to see over there uh, But we'll take another look uh, over by the key, the Jade um, Palace and see what it looks like from there Yeah, so as I was talking uh, about it uh, You really can't see much of anything other than the chimney smoke. There's also gonna be another chimney that comes up this way uh, That's gonna be a little bit bigger All right, so as we get closer, I just wanted to remind you guys this started off as a uh, Picture that I found online that I was inspired by um, and we used this basalt for the wood texture uh, so I just wanted to mention that because I don't I want you guys to be re to remind yourselves not to just stick with whatever you guys think uh, people use um, so think think a little bit outside the box when you're making a build so uh, there's a lot of things that I have been looking at when it comes to um, these forges so basically uh, one big way we can make a forge is just by making like a large table like this we're gonna have a fire like this um, we should really have it sunken in um, yeah maybe what we can do is we can do something like that uh, and actually pull this out here now from what I'm reading and seeing uh, basically to do this we're gonna have a right here We'll have to make some sort of a bellows uh, and on the outside. I think I got an idea pretty quickly. Uh, this composter kind of looks like the back of a bellows, especially if it was, you know, Minecraft based where it's uh, super, um, you know, blocky. So I'm thinking what we can do is have this here and then actually have this little hopper back here um and we'll put that there and basically the only thing we need is to kind of i was thinking actually of um yeah we'll cover it up obviously but back here right you can barely just barely see that there's a bellows back there Okay, so this doesn't look too terribly bad uh, as far as, like, the flu and everything. Um, I might say maybe we close this off even sooner, like, right in here. And that way it doesn't look like there's so much weight. Okay, so here's what's going to be cool. I've got a piston. And I was thinking... If we put a lever here that's supposed to be used to make this thing go, can we make some noises somehow? Uh, I'm thinking if we place this facing down, will that reach correctly? Nope, 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 but we're close. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm thinking. And then we'll just cover that. 
uh, and it looks like we need to place uh, this as a cover here. Belgo and Athena met when they were young. Belgo was an excellent hand to wear the fiend, the palace smith. Athena fancied Belgor, and the two would sneak off at night together to the docks and watch the ships bob in the port. However, Belgo was shocked when Athena came to him pregnant. Begging Werdefin for help, he was admitted into the smithing guild, and soon had his own shop. Belgo and Athena continued to grow as a family, letting life happen. Werdefin warned Belgo that if he didn't begin to plan for the future, his luck would eventually run out. But for now, life was good for Belgo, Fina, and their six children. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. I am back here, and I am looking at the build. You guys will notice we only really featured the outside and the uh, first floor. So... Today, I don't really have much time to keep working on this uh, before to needing to edit and all that stuff. I've got a pretty busy night tonight. Uh, and, and I'm finding that it's very difficult to actually get uh, a whole build done in one day like this. Uh, even when I, when I push for another day, um, it's becoming increasingly difficult to build even something large so I'm hoping to regulate that a little bit better here uh, in the next little bit it might be that the answer is that I put the build school in the middle of the week instead of another episode so you guys will get two episodes instead of three uh, we'll do one on like say uh, Tuesday and then one on Saturday or something but we'll figure it out so as you guys know, uh, I talked about how we would put this little, uh, this is supposed to really be like, you know, leather or something uh, that you can sort of walk in here, get a little bit of privacy, but not so much that you're, uh, it's so, it gets so incredibly hot in here. Went crazy with the chains, um, but that's because I really like the idea of having these chains. We talked about this uh, whole thing here. Um, if you guys get a debugging wand, you can actually turn the item frame off, uh, and then this will literally look like it's sitting right on top of the anvil, which can really make for a really cool aesthetic. Uh, but I'm going to put a couple other item frames all around here, really make it look like he's working uh, on a lot of different projects. Um, I almost didn't put... A creeper blew that up. Uh, I almost didn't put any sort of... Um, there's one any sort of like big open doorway up to here because I figured you know when he's working he would probably want his house closed off but then I thought about it and I was like eh I think it makes sense you know for him to to sort of uh not close this off and and sort of leave it open once again for a little bit of air uh being able to be pulled out um Really cool area here with the with the table being able to actually have one that fit in here. Usually it's pretty difficult to uh, make one of these happen. Uh, lots of candles for light because I'm really trying to avoid using torches. Um, but here, this is kind of, I thought, a cute little, little spot for cooking. Uh, I'm going to probably put a couple more like flower pots here uh, to kind of make it look like, you know, there's other pots and different things going on there uh upstairs not really much done uh i sort of ran out of inspiration slash ideas um just trying to get things going but we've got uh th the first kid's room so maybe this is like the the littlest child because this looks like the the most um i guess newest update newest expansion uh, in this room is the other kid's bed, uh, and I might end up turning this bed over this way uh, and then having this bed here, right here, just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, in this room, this is the parents' room. They get the biggest room, uh, and this will be a nice place to decorate. I don't think you would usually do this. Uh, 
that being have like working space underneath here with a bunch of fire and then you've got a little loft type thing on the top basically uh doesn't seem very smart or comfortable but uh we've got the room so might as well do it uh and then up here is an empty room but this is another two children's room so total they have six children uh that live in the house um which kind of goes along with their story that they uh you know aren't smart about how they're planning their life out they're kind of just like a lot of people they're they're living their life and just kind of walking it out rather than you know planning and thinking do we need to have children right now uh is it a good time to have children um but they're making do they're making expansions they're doing what they need to do uh so but overall really happy with this house guys i am really impressed uh with how everything got put together and the color scheme is great and really everything to me looks pretty decent one thing i forgot to mention because i filmed something we've got mending we've got an elytra you guys see where i'm going with this let's get mending on our elytra cost easy easy and now all we have to do is do some fishing within a with a mending fishing pole and our elytra will never again need to be uh fixed but yeah i got that in the stronghold i went through and that's how i got all the books was i went through the library and stripped it um i filmed it and the film like basically the replay software recorded everything that I did in my entire Minecraft section session. And I was like, please don't, but it did anyways. So that is going to do it for today's episode. You guys, I am super excited with how things are going. I'm excited to see where they will go from here. Uh, lots of stuff to do, lots of opportunities. Uh, but overall, uh, things are going great. And, uh, as we develop this world, um, more and more, uh, that's, it's gonna be great, and I, I wanna stop, like, uh, on the stream, and just start working on some of these buildings. I'm gonna work on them off the camera, off camera, but I'd also like to get together with you guys, and work on some of the stuff on camera as well, uh, in the live stream, getting things done, doing a little bit of the exterior work, and, uh, some interior design as well, but... Without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, happy mining and crafting!